We're in Santa Cruz at the Seymour Center. Kristen, tell me about this place. Great, yeah. Welcome to the Seymour Marine Discovery Center. Uh, you are in Santa Cruz, California, and this facility is part of the Long Marine Lab, which means we are part of the University of California, Santa Cruz. And we are a small public education facility talking all about marine science and research here. So tell me, what can people see in the center here? Great, uh, they can explore our exhibits talking about the scientists next door working and the researchers and what their projects are. They also get a chance to look at our small aquarium and live animals. And then the best part, they get to touch and explore the <laughs> local animals from Monterey Bay. So how long have you worked here? I started here actually in 2011 as a volunteer myself. Wow. When I was a UCSC undergrad student. Sure, and now you're living the dream, right? And now I'm living the dream, riding my bike to work along West Cliff, which is an amazing bike ride. Nice, well, take me around. What do you want to show me here? Awesome. Uh, well, guests usually come in and they check out our greeter table here. They do a scavenger hunt um, to find out some of the animals in the aquarium. This one you can actually touch with the back of your hand and feel well, the anywhere. Back your hand, the huh? back of your hand, because we have a lot of oils on the front of our hands. So oh, we say okay. the back of your hand. Wow, that you can is see so that soft. Help. So sea otter is actually a threatened species, and there's only about 3,000 left um, along the central coast of California. No and we get kidding. to see them right here. What's, what's behind us Yeah, here? what's behind us, the exciting things. We've got lots of local species. So uh, this exhibit is our sandy seafloor exhibit, and you can see these little crabs are called pelagic red crabs or tuna crabs. And we have them on display because they typically weren't found up here in Monterey Bay. But recently, since uh, the water temperature is changing, we are seeing them arrive in large quantities up on, being washed up onto the beaches here. So this is kind of like a timeline of when we're seeing them wash up. This is um, what animals would live right here off, on our rocky reef off the coast here. So there's rockfish. Um, sometimes Starfish. there's, yeah, we call them sea stars, so they're not actually a fish. Oh, it's good. well, look at that. I mean, <laughs> all right, all right, sea stars. So it's no, there's no accident that the Seymour Center is located right here off these, these two reefs. No right? accident at all. Well, it's located here because the Marine Lab was built here in 1978. Uh, it started in these trailers next door and has grown into this amazing program that we have at the Seymour Center now. So uh, there's a lot going, gosh, there's a, what is that right there? There's a shark over there. <laughs> there's a shark over there. <laughs> a live shark, oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, how do, we, how do we get around you it? You guys want to touch some sharks? Well, all right. So these are our female swell sharks, and they're um, like 14 to 16 years old, um, and they are nocturnal, so they're just sleeping right now. They're resting at the bottom. Is it normal for sharks to rest like this? Yes. So Do all sharks rest like this? No, okay. not all sharks. So, so swell sharks, they're a benthic species. They live in the rocky reef, which is why we have some rocks here for them. And they, um, yeah, they rest on the bottom. They don't have to swim around to, to breathe, which is an often uh, times yes. people hear. All, all right. right, so to touch our swell sharks, we ask that everyone uses two fingers. Two fingers. And touches on the middle of their back here. So you're gonna stay away from their head and away from their tail. And you just wanna touch gently. Okay. But I also wanna tell you, touch both, feel in both directions. All right? Okay. It'll feel much different. Go nice to the middle of their back, and you're just gonna touch one way and then rub up the other way. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. The water is very cold. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh there wow. There you go. Yeah. Here's Thank a towel you. For you. That is so prickly. Oh my goodness. Kind of felt like sandpaper. It did. My heart's beating a little fast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you notice right away, oh, that water's cold. Water's very cold. Yeah. So that water comes straight from Monterey Bay. We pump that water in a million gallons a day through our, our seawater system. Wow. Are swell sharks found in other parts of the world or just here in the bay? This is as far north as they are found. They're found south of here, but this is as far north as, they, as this population lives. And what about the jellies uh, right here? Yeah, these sea nettles, they're local to Monterey Bay. And, and so all, all, every time you're in an aquarium, you're, the jellies are always in a circle mm -hmm. exhibit because they need to have that water flow coming in. So water is actually flowing in there? Yep, flows in right here. And they can see sure. they love that area. They love being by the current. Right here we have the giant green sea anemone. And you can touch these that you found in the tide pools here. So you can touch with one or two fingers on the oh side. Oh my goodness, that thing is attacking you. It looks like it's trying to- It is destroying you. It looks like it's trying you. to give me a hug, right? It, um, or, yes. <laughs> can I? Yeah, you should try too. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is wild. What do we have here? We have some of those sea stars I was mentioning before, those bat stars. And you can see, you were mentioning that they have many different colors and variations. So these are two are the bat stars. 
and you can touch them and hold them under the water here. So like um, stiff. Very stiff, yeah. And you can compare that to the different species over here called the leather star. So if you just feel with the finger right away, you're gonna notice completely oh, different. Ooh, yeah. slimy. Slimy, kind yeah. of feel like leather. Yeah, um, yeah. slime. <laughs> mm. Slime. What is this? Yeah, you can pick it up and hold it if you want. We call it a mermaid's purse or a swell shark <laughs> egg case. Wait a minute, wait a minute. A swell shark egg case? Yeah. So some sharks lay eggs, just like chickens lay eggs. Okay. And their babies would be inside. It comes out of the female just like this with these beautiful tendrils. This was in the shark? Yes. The female lays the shark. Our females on exhibit lay these. Oh my goodness. And all these little things right, right yeah, here? Yeah, so those tendrils would wrap on to the giant kelp and the hold fast. And you can see it blends in perfectly with our giant kelp. So this is the habitat the baby shark would the, just stay in the egg for. Wow. And then when it's ready to hatch after nine to 12 months, it would swim out. Should we go see the baby? Yeah, let's go okay. see the baby. So this, this is the baby. That is the fertilized egg case that we have on display right now. You can see the, the whole baby shark growing in there. Kristen, obviously you have a lot to see and touch and experience inside, but do you have stuff outside? Of course, yeah. Let's go check out some of our, our giant whale skeletons. Oh, all right, let's all do right. it. This is Mr. Gray, as our volunteers like to call him. It's our gray whale skeleton, and so it's actually bones from lots of different gray whales made, put together to make up this skeleton here. Wow, and is this an actual, you know, full-size gray whale? Uh, not quite full-size, we think it was more of a juvenile. We, uh, full-size is about 40 to 50 feet long. Wow, and you touch it? Yeah, you go and touch it. So these are actual real these are whale bones, real huh? whale bones, yeah. Wow. This is actually our California state marine mammal, the gray whale. No kidding. Yeah. I, There's a trivia fun fact for you. What do we have here? This is Miss Blue, the Seymour Center's mascot. You can touch her bones too. They feel a little bit different than the gray whale's bones because this one has paint on the bones to help preserve it since she's so special to us. Wow, a blue whale? I blue assume. whale, Miss Blue, the blue whale, the largest animal to have ever lived on our planet. This skeleton here is 87 feet long. Wow. It's one of the largest blue whale skeletons in the world. No kidding. Yeah. And you just happen to have it here, huh? We just happen to have it here in Santa Cruz. <laughs> There's, I think, four in California, and we've got one of them here. Oh my goodness, this yeah. is crazy. Kristen, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Yes, thank you. Thank you for visiting us. Seymour Center in Santa Cruz. My goodness, I wonder if I can eat more than it.